you have a camera roll that looks like this, <gasps> but you want it to look like this. Same. If you follow all of these tips in this video, I promise you that you will have the camera roll of a lifetime, of your dreams. Whatever it is that you want, you can achieve. Is that a good inspirational speech? <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Adrian Finch. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video. Brace yourselves. It's going to be a process, but I promise you that if you stick around and you do all of these things, you will feel a sense of relief. Basically in 2019, I promised myself that I would declutter my entire life. Yes, in the spirit of Marie Kondo and the art of tidying up, this happened at a great time. One of the first things I wanted to declutter was my phone. As you guys know, I'm constantly on my phone, constantly using a bunch of apps. But the one thing that always bothers me is how cluttered my camera roll is. I have 20,000 photos that I just, I don't even know where to begin. I would like to have about 3,000 photos, maybe 5,000. Okay, let's be honest. If I can just cut it by 50%, we're doing something right. Wow, now these lights are like making me hot. So I'm gonna go through those tips with you right now. Let me know if you wanna take on this challenge and organize Marie Kondo the sh out of your camera roll on your phone. Let's get into the tip. Step number one is to go through your entire camera roll and select your favorites. Now, what I mean by selecting your favorites is physically pushing the heart button on the bottom that adds them to a favorites folder. This is of course, if you have an iPhone. I wanna say something very, very important. Be decisive, okay? Every event that you went to, every memory, only choose about five to 10 photos to favorite. Also, do not save more than two duplicate photos. We all know what this means. I'm quite guilty of that on Instagram photo shoot days. Step number two is delete. And make deleting your friend. Delete any photos that are blurry, unnecessary screenshots, or duplicates. Deleting is our friend. If you didn't favorite it, I absolutely promise you don't care about it. Pro tip, press select in the upper right hand corner and you can click and drag to delete bulk amounts of photos at one time. And another pro tip, check the screenshots album for mass deleting screenshots. The third step is to create and edit albums. Now, as much as I think I'm clever with my album titling, I realize I am not very efficient and I have way too many random albums from like random apps that connect to my phone and such. So I highly suggest that you create albums based on months, people, or specific events or like timelines throughout your year. Also, Apple somewhat does this for you. They group them into collections based on years and months, but maybe you wanna categorize certain albums like friends or birthdays or Instagram. And another pro tip, if you use the search function, then you can bulk add certain types of photos to these albums. So if you search balloons, you'll find photos that have balloons and likely they're from an event or birthday. And be sure to delete albums that you don't need. This won't delete the photos, it'll just delete them being categorized in an album. Step number four is for if you are someone who's on social media a lot or is a photographer or likes to edit photos in any way, shape or form, I highly recommend making a to edit folder and an edited folder. I started doing this for a while and then kind of just got derailed somewhere along the way. But it's a very easy way to remember which photos you wanna edit and which photos you have already edited. So typically if I do a little photo shoot or let's say I'm on a vacation, I did this for Greece and Thailand, I take a bunch of pictures, I go through and favorite the ones that I wanna edit, I move those favorited photos into the to edit folder and then I edit them. Once I edit them, I add them to the edited folder and then they're ready to post. And you'll still have the original ones that you favorited in your favorites folder because sometimes I like to go back and edit a photo a different way. So I like to keep them favorited. So step number five is to rearrange your albums based on priority. I didn't even know you could rearrange your albums, so this is news. I personally recommend putting edited and to edit albums at the top and or any like albums that you want to access the most. And then as you go down, just put the ones that you care less about. And remember, the less albums, the better. Now you've gotten to the point where you've cleaned out a lot of your camera roll. You have deleted unnecessary screenshots, blurry photos, duplicates, you've sorted them into albums, and you've prioritized those albums. So the next step to make sure that you can maintain this cleanliness of your camera roll is to set somewhat of a routine. I decided to make this a habit so that I don't have to constantly start over because that just sucks when you invest a lot of time doing something like cleaning and then you just let it get all cluttered again. So creating a routine and a system of organization is how you're gonna maintain this clean and uncluttered camera roll. Totally do what works for you, but I recommend setting a weekly reminder. So maybe every Sunday for 20 minutes, 
just go through and do these similar steps. So delete out all the photos you don't need, add them to relevant albums, edit the photos you need edited, etc. And just do this once a week if you want, even once a day if you want. It's totally up to you, but actually put reminders in your phone. I also recommend maybe once at the end of each month, kind of going back and looking at that entire month as a whole. And if you decided to categorize photos based on month, then you can maybe put all your favorites from that month in that one folder. Another kind of fun thing about having an organized camera roll is that let's say at the end of the year, you want to make someone a cool gift or you want to post something on social media like about your previous year or make a photo album that you print and store somewhere. You now have like very clearly organized albums and you can look back on the whole last year and create really cute gifts for people or photo books or anything that you want. <sighs> step number seven and the final step and one that is very important and I think a lot of people overlook, make sure that you are backing up your photos. iPhones do typically back up to iCloud automatically, but you wanna make sure that you have enough storage for all the photos that you have. You can also use something like Google Photos or as you saw in my Amazon Hacks video, if you do have an Amazon Prime membership, you get unlimited photo storage with that. So I challenge you to do all these steps. Let me know down below if you have. I am like feeling so much better after that. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This took me a long time because I had 20,000 photos and I can't even believe that I did this, but I do feel so much better about it and I can't wait to now declutter my apps, my computer, my closet, my Gmail. Oh my God, my Gmail. I have like 18,000 emails and like about 2,000 unread. I'm about to just wipe all those away and I'll feel so much better. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and I love you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.